Want to keep up with the latest Komodo gaming videos? Be sure to subscribe and click that bell. Oh, we're dipping. We're dipping. Oh, we're going to get hit hard here. Uh, it's shifting over a little bit. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No, 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 no. No. No, the waves are pushing us sideways. Hello, YouTube. Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Stormworks. And yes, folks, we are back once again. And we are back with a brand new update here in Stormworks. We have the building update. And basically what this is, you can build your own base in Stormworks now. Uh, that is absolutely amazing. As many of you know, I played a lot of Scrap Mechanic, and I used to love to build buildings. So this has me excited, because I'd actually like to get into some of this. So today's going to be kind of a normal episode of Stormworks. Uh, we will check out some awesome creations. I do have a, a couple buildings, I believe, to spawn. So we'll do that. But we will be returning with uh, more multiplayer, which should be shortly. And I think I've got another uh, sinking ship single player coming up here soon. But since this is an update, I want to show you guys the new stuff here. So we're going to jump right into this. I'm going to go ahead and grab the first creation. Now do keep in mind everything's in the description. So if you want to download any of the creations that you see here on this episode. And if you're enjoying Stormworks on the channel, maybe hit that thumbs up button. It helps out my channel. And let's do this. Alright, so you're seeing in the top left corner it says travel to Subbase Island, Hella Base Island, Large Boat Base Island, and Small Boat Base Island. So there's islands spread out. I can show you the map. Which they haven't, I've not been to that grid yet. I thought one was going to be on the Mega Island, which I do believe may be in campaign mode. There might be a couple more build spots, uh, but what's spawned here, you've got these four. So, one of them is a sub base, and that sounds actually really cool. Uh, we'll probably check that one out first, but let's go ahead and grab a creation to get over there with. Alright folks, we have something that is not too common here in Stormworks. This is the Atheon, or maybe it's the Atheon Command Spaceship. This thing is massive looking. Check that out. Uh, that is probably one of the most unique crafts I've ever seen here in Stormworks. Now you do have to spawn this in the, uh, the boat dock. Uh, it's too big to spawn in the hangar. Here it goes. Oh boy. Oh, check that out. Dude, that is so sweet looking. Uh oh, is it sinking? <laughs> We're not sinking ships yet, so <laughs> let's not do this today. Uh, let's see, how in the heck do we even get into this? I see the uh, I see the bridge up there, huh? What's this button? Toggle on, off. Okay, so we got our lights in here. Okay, both sides of the lights. Let's go ahead. There we go, there's our doors. Let's go ahead and move that mission indicator. Uh, can I minimize that? Uh, I guess it's not too much in the way. Let's see. Let's go ahead and go up into here. We need to... Oh, there's a briefing room. Okay, so that's a briefing room. Uh, I'm pretty sure we have some more lights here. Error, error, below water. Oh, it's actually detecting that... Oh, this door. It's detecting the doors below water. If we open it up, we'll sink it. Alright, looking for a bridge. Uh, let's see, medical ward. You know, this is gonna probably have everything that you need to rescue stuff, <laughs> except for it's in spaceship form. That's, uh, that's really cool. Storage room, uh, crew barracks, okay. Huh, alright, where's the bridge? This might be it here. You know, this looks like a vehicle storage area. They do have some, uh, magnets on the back here, so you can load... I'm assuming, I think he's got a VTOL spacecraft, if I'm not mistaken, that might be able to fit on here. Alright, main interior lights on, exteriors on, ignition, let's go and unlock that. Uh, they've changed some stuff up with the, uh, the buttons and stuff. You're seeing actual uh, color-coded text to tell you when stuff's on and off. That's uh, really neat. Alright, ignition's on, cruise control, okay, spotlights, throttle lever, foghorn, alright. We're ready to go here. Oh, it's already lifting. Okay. Do we have some instructions? You know, I think there was instructions. I believe this thing's got an auto hover. Oh, uh, we just got to get out of the dock here. On. Uh, I can't tell. It's like I'm trying to feel if we're supposed to be, like, in the water right now. I feel like we should be lifting up. Oh, there we go. We're hovering. Oh, that is cool. Dude. It just took right off. Hold on. Is there an auto hover? Cruise control. Foghorn. Uh, you know, I could have swore there was. It kind of feels like it's doing it by itself. Bridge lights. Okay, those are on. Okay, all this is connectors and runway lights. You know, I think this thing just stabilized itself. Yeah. 
That is crazy. Wow. All right, let's go ahead. Which island do we want to head to first? Which one's which, actually? Uh, that's a good question. Let's see. The left side one is the small, the sub base. Okay, we want to go to that one. All right, and the question is, how fast does this spacecraft move? Like, it feels like it's booking pretty good right now. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's moving good. Oh, that is incredible. It's amazing what people can do in this game. All right, so we're on our way out to the sub-base island. I want to go ahead and explain real quick. Uh, the building aspect itself, I believe what happens on certain islands, there is a workbench. And when you build a building, it automatically anchors it down uh, to that area. So that's how the base building, at least as far as I know, that's how it's working right now. Uh, that's pretty cool. And I believe in career mode, there is more places to build. I think maybe in creative mode, I guess we just have these four islands. Or it could just be uh, the way they randomly generate. I'm not really sure. All right, we're coming down to the sub-base island. I do not see a landing spot on this island. Is it on fire? What in the heck? Where is that smoke coming from? Okay, I saw a brief glimpse of smoke. No, it's still smoking. Uh, can we land on top of it? Is that safe? Maybe that's a flare or something. <laughs> I can't tell what's going on. Uh, is there a pathway up it? There's a nice... F no, it's, I wouldn't say it's actually flat. That's not very flat on top. Yeah, we're just going to park the spacecraft right beside it. I think this is marked... Yeah, it's a flare. It's marked because of the mission location. All right, here we go. We have touchdown. Let's go ahead. Kill. Oh, actually, we want to keep that on, so we got to kill the motors. All right, motors are killed. And she's floating. All right, let's go check out this island. I don't have an exit up here, do I? How do we get out to the helipad? That might actually be the best place or the runway. Ah, uh, here we go. It's the top exit right here. Oh, that is too sweet. Man, you could build a bat cave or something in here. I don't see where you would build on this island, uh, to be honest with you. I, I see there's a workbench in there in which you could spawn subs and stuff. Maybe the, the build locations towards the back, possibly? I don't know. Let's uh, let's go exploring here. All right, this is pretty legit looking. I kind of wish there was some lights in here, but yeah, there's your workbench, which I'm pretty sure that workbench is to spawn right here in the water for subs. Now, is there a secondary one here somewhere? Uh, ooh, it's like a little cave system. Hold on, let's get our flashlight out. Dude, that is cool looking. I just don't see the the building aspect here. <laughs> No, oh, there's another workbench. Okay, so I'm assuming you can build up here, too. This would be maybe your build location. This is not very flat. Like, I can picture building something up here, maybe like a lighthouse or something, but uh, I'm not really sure. So let's just, uh, for reasons or for examples here, let's go ahead. I don't want to spawn the house that I have. I'd like to have an actual flat area there. So, yeah, say we're going to build We're gonna build a nice cube here real quick, uh, and then we'll... Uh, We'll kind of move on. Uh oh, screwed that up. All right, so I have a very, very rough example of just a uh, a building here, which is really just a room. Uh, let's go ahead and spawn this and see how this works. So we spawn it out. Where did it mount it to? Oh, okay. So the buildings get placed up here. Why is that floating? Uh, that could be a bit of an issue. Okay. That is good to know that that's a thing. I can't get into my room anymore. All right, so that's placed up there. So I'm assuming we need to build a base to that. Or how do we set that on the ground? Hold on, let's go back into here. All right, so this is still here. Oh, it is up in the air. I'm a dingus. All right, I guess I need to try to select all this and move it down. Either that or I can just build a base and stairs to it. I should have paid attention to that. That was my bad. I was building in the air there. So, yeah, that was a bit of a dodo move. All right, let's try this again. We have stairs now. All right, there it is. Is it connected to the ground? All right, so it's connected to the ground now. All right, so I wouldn't say this island has the biggest build area, but you could build like a platform uh, with like a lighthouse on it, maybe some barracks, a medic bay. Oh, let's go up the stairs here. Uh, open that up. Yes, I have built basically a hut. <laughs> I built a shack that's got a bed in it, but... You know, I would like to get more into this building. That's uh, that's really neat. This is a feature I really wanted to see here in Stormworks. 
So you can build your base on top of this island and you can launch subs. Uh, maybe this would be like a military style island. Uh, maybe have some walls, have a small fort up here, and then you can launch your military subs out from under there. And so, yeah, when you save this, uh, this is now officially a base. Now, does it... Okay, so it shows up like a vehicle. The only thing I'm kind of curious about, can we go to sleep up here? And will it actually pass time? Uh, that might be the only little bit strange thing. Hold on, what happens when we lay down into this? Uh, oh yeah, you can sleep. Alright, so that works. So, that is really legit. <laughs> That's cool. Oh, I'm really actually happy with that. Alright, let's close that door there. Yes, that is Komodo's uneven base. You can tell it's uneven by the windows. Oh boy. Alright, I think it's time. We're gonna go ahead and move on to the next island. We might actually take a mission here too. Uh, I just thought that was really, really neat. Uh, let's see, what other ones do we have? We have the small boat, the large one, and the heli base. I kind of want to see the large boat island. So let's jump back into our spaceship and get moving. All right, large base is in sight. This is for the large boats. Oh yeah, that's a big dock. All right, that one actually looks like it has a concrete pad to build on. Let's go ahead and start losing some altitude here. Try to get fairly close to the base. Kind of looks like it also has like a natural boat dock on the left side too. That is cool. All right, let's go ahead and lower. We're gonna get down in the water. We're not gonna try to land on the base here. All right, so there's the uh, small boat island base. We probably won't check that one out. We might actually go check out. Wow, the helicopter one's really far away. Kind of curious as to what that looks like. Let's go ahead and check this out. Uh, so there's, okay, so I'm assuming this is to spawn in the water. This is to build here on the island. So if we go here, let me see if I can load up something real quick. All right, so apparently I can't load anything up on this pad yet. I had a building I wanted to spawn in. We might have to spawn it back at the main area, but this would be... Let me, let's go ahead and confirm that this is the building spot real quick. Let's do a slab here and spawn it in. Is this it? Yep, that's the building spot. Huh. All right, so there's that one. And then, last but not least, there's a helipad base. The question is, is there an actual pad? Like, that's the only thing that's a little weird for me. I haven't seen an island that looks like it's any bit, like, man-made with the docks or any of that. I don't wonder if that's something that you can try to do. Uh, maybe build like a flat area and try to build a dock or how that works. Oh wow, it looks like we're building on a rock out here. Hon, actually how do you get on this island besides landing on top of it? I don't see a pathway up. We might actually have to land the, uh, the spacecraft right on top of it here. Uh, let's go ahead and maneuver. I don't know if she's gonna fit, but we're gonna try it. Yeah, there's not much room on this island, I would say. I would like to see some bigger build areas. Ooh, I can hardly... I don't think I'm going to be able to put the uh, the spaceship on this. This thing is just... It's not going to be stable at all. I don't think like the island... I don't think like the land is quite stable. It's leaning, and I want to tip the spaceship over. But that is the helicopter island. Okay. That's pretty cool. I like that. I, I do, like I said, wish stuff was a little bit bigger build area-wise, but... Uh, knowingly, uh, it's gonna get updated and we're gonna get even bigger base locations. Now, you're probably asking yourself, what about base buildings? Well, I have one that I believe we could stick on a base, which it's really, I think it's morely a house. So let's go back to the main island real quick. All right, so we have a creation called My House. Check this out. This is something I've never seen in Stormworks. Like, it's a full-blown house. I would assume that if you spawn this uh, maybe at one of the base locations, you could actually have your own house in Stormworks. I guess you could actually uh, play it off as almost like a little bit of a role play and have maybe a yacht out there and a, a private helicopter. Uh, let's go ahead and spawn this in. This looks very nice, actually. There we go. Oh, that is so cool looking. It's a house in Stormworks. It looks quite cozy. All right. Uh, let's go in here. We need to find some lights. There we go. Toggle that back. Oh, that is sweet looking. Wow. Now you got your oven. That is an intense oven, by the way. Uh, go in here. Looks like you got to exercise. Actually, this isn't a, it's a living room. It's got a treadmill, but looks like they're watching some sort of... Oh, FIFA World Cup 2018. Uh, that's kind of neat. Is there light in here? Okay, there we go. Wow. This would be really awesome to have on one of those islands. I'm actually kind of jealous. I want one of these on my island. Let's see, it's a side door. That is a bathroom. Okay. Cool. This is a... I would assume this is a kid's room. Looks like a plane or something. Or a bird. 
yeah, that is awesome. There's a toy box over there. Let's go upstairs. It's a nice, just cozy little two-story house. You got a little balcony out here. Uh, go into here. This appears to be... Ah, this is a room. Would this be the master bedroom? I'm not sure if it is written. Looks like somebody's got a sweet gaming setup, though. They're playing some Stormworks. Uh, what is this over here? This would be the master bedroom. It's got the bigger bed in it. It's a little smaller room, it feels like, but uh, nonetheless, pretty cool. Oh, we even have an attic up here. That's cool. All right, so yeah, that's just some of the possibilities as far as the bases in Stormworks. Like that, that is cool. I really look forward to uh, doing some more of that. But anyways, uh, let's go ahead and move on to the next thing. All right, so I figured we can go and have a little bit more fun this episode. We actually have something that I have not really seen any of these on the workshop. This is a pirate ship, and you think a, uh, a game about ships, you would see more stuff like this. But no, this is like one of the first ones that I've seen. And, oh, that is gorgeous looking. Oh, wow, look at the details there. That looks amazing. Huh? Let's jump aboard. All right, so I figured we could end this episode uh, with a little more excitement, so... We're going to see how this thing takes a beating in the storms. Actually, is this lower deck? Hold on, is that the is that the little cage below me? Oh, look at that. You know, I'm pretty sure that's got a name for it. I'm not really sure what it is. Let's go ahead and close that back. Uh, okay, so it doesn't have sails. Obviously, sails are not a thing in Stormworks. That would be cool if that eventually becomes something. Uh, I would love to see sails in the game, but that's not planned that I know of. All right, so hold on, let's go below deck real quick. Just want to see what's down there. I don't think this ship's going to withstand a big storm. We'll have to see here. <laughs> Let's go down here. What is all this? Throttle levers. Okay, so this is just the inner workings, really. Uh, there's not actually much down here. And then you can close the... Oh, there's cannon doors? Wait, those are water cannons. Oh, that's cool. I guess that's kind of actually an effective way to put out a, a fire, I would assume. Do these actually work? Throttle? Okay, up and down. That's going to be left, right. Yeah, it shoots water out. That's amazing. So we have a firefighting pirate boat. All right, so here comes the odd thing about the pirate ship. Uh, let's go ahead and fire it up. Ah, uh, so yes, we fired up the pirate ship. We have an engine in here. Uh, let's go ahead and get moving. What does this look like? It's so neat. It's like not a really huge pirate ship, but it looks great. I have a feeling we're going to die here today with the waves, though. Oh, I just noticed the little detail with the skull on the front of it. How nice. How fitting as to what's going to happen here. Now, this isn't going to be a sinking ship survival. This is going to be go out in the open waves and see if this thing can actually handle it. Uh, these pirate ships are normally kind of tall, so... And I can picture the the sails and stuff maybe weighing it to the side or making the, uh, the center of gravity maybe a little high. Uh, we'll have to see. Oh, could you imagine if Stormworks had cannons... And we could have a pirate battle. Oh, that would be awesome. All right, let's uh, kick this up about 20 notches here. Let's go wind. There we go. Beautiful. It's doing a pretty good job so far. Uh, just got to fight through it. All right, let's kick it up to uh, even more. Let's kick it up to like 100 here. There we go. Oh, yes, that is beautiful looking. Yes, we're a pirate, and we're fighting the waves here. That's cool. Can we stand? Like, is this safe? Ooh! Oh, this is so awesome. You know, we could do some rescues in the pirate ship. It'd be a little odd. We don't have all the tools we would need, like harnesses, beds, and all that other good stuff. I mean, I guess there is a captain's bed, but nobody's sleeping in my bed. That's mine. Whee! Hey, this thing is doing pretty good. Like, it is setting morally on top of the waves. Uh, a lot of times you see a lot of these ships will, I'm assuming it's just a weight thing, they'll dig in. Like, this thing is just cruising. It's just going right over them. Uh, let's go stand down on the deck real quick and just get a feel for some of these waves. Oh, uh, yeah, pretty nice. The throttles, okay, yeah, we're still moving forward here. Cool. Yeah, it still surprises me. This is like one of the first pirate ships that I've seen in Stormworks. Oh, we're dipping. We're dipping. Oh, we're going to get hit hard here. Uh, it's shifting over a little bit. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No, 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 no. No. No, the waves are pushing us sideways. 
Yeah, the only bad thing about the ship, it doesn't have a, a tremendous amount of power, so we're getting tossed around here. Like, every time I try to turn, it'll, like, turn me back. Oh, the waves are just, they're killing us right now. Oh, we are fighting them waves really bad right now. Come on. Uh oh. Oh, we're going to slip over that one. Oh, I don't think anything can sink this ship. Now, this thing's doing a, a fantastic job. I don't even have to worry about it too much. Like, it'll get really sideways and almost seem like it's going to tip, but then it just floats right back up and fights it. Oh, 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 that's a big one. That's a big one. Oh, there we go. Yeah, we're good. I don't have to worry about it. Wow. Oh, we're going to get the, in the Rose and Jack position. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, no, no, that wasn't safe. No, that was bad. On, on, get, get the ladder. Get the ladder. Get the ladder. No, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, grab it. Grab it. Grab it. Oh, no, there goes our pirate boat. No, the ship is gone. Oh, we're not getting that back. Yeah, that might actually be a decent one for Ghost Ship. Uh, and I actually think we're setting up for that storyline because now it's a lost ship. Bye, pirate ship. But anyways, I think it's going to wrap it up for this episode. This was really just to inform you guys about the new update uh, with the building of the bases. Check out a couple cool creations. Of course, we had the, uh, the spaceship, the house, and the awesome pirate ship, which is now uh, going out to sea without me. That's fine. Whatever. But yeah, more sinking ship coming up soon. We got some more multiplayer coming up also. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and we will see you guys next time in Stormworks. Thank you.